This question is so beautifully designed that it will make you fall in love with math for real. And that's not bad. But this is what separates a true math genius from the rest. The ability to pause, observe, and spot the hidden pattern or shortcut that simplifies everything. Because after expanding this expression, we will get this quartic expression which becomes insanely difficult to solve. So expanding it might not be the most helpful approach here. All these numbers are in an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of two. So what if I try to find the middle part of these numbers, kind of mean, or an average of these numbers? So we get 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 over 4 or 24 over 4, which equals 6. Whoa! I think we are getting somewhere. Let me substitute a variable y as x plus 6. Subtract 3 from both sides, and we get x plus 3 equals y minus 3. Oh, can you now see where we are heading? x plus 5 will become y minus 1. Then x plus 7 will become y plus 1 and x plus 9 will become y plus 3. We did all of this manipulation just to avoid expanding this big expression and let us see if we can become successful in it. So, in the end, we don't actually get four solutions like we might expect from a quartic equation. We get just three. This just shows how a little creativity can turn a seemingly complex equation into something surprisingly elegant.